Let me tell you guys something. I want you guys to wear a mask. You know why? So you don't get COVID. Yeah. Why? So you don't get sick. Yeah. Why? Because I don't know, so you don't get sick. <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you, no, for real. Hey, for real, bro. Hey, for real, I'm gonna tell you guys something. But for real, I'm gonna tell you guys something. Filming, dude. Hell yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, dude. Something amazing. All right. Hell yeah. Good job wearing your mask. Put it on. You guys should be wearing masks. What are you doing? No COVID safety. COVID safety. That's a pretty large group for what's going on right now. Just be careful, okay? Hey everyone, the amazing here. It's great to be in Ann Arbor on the streets. Uh, unfortunately, we are still in a global pandemic, and so we are out here just trying to spread some awareness about what's going on, trying to promote mask usage, social distancing. I have a couple posters to hang up, and we're just gonna see what happens. Here in the great state of Michigan, between June 1st and June 29th, 19 days saw a daily case count of less than 300. The other 10 were all less than 500. Today is July 18th. Since June 30th, Michigan has at least 300 new cases per day. The majority of those days seeing over 500 cases and the past two days seeing over 900 cases a day. If you're watching this video within a few months of July 18th, 2020, if no new guidelines are put in place or people do not follow the existing ones, I'm sure you're seeing bad numbers continue or worsen in Michigan. Thankfully, Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer just imposed an executive order requiring everyone in indoor public spaces and outdoor crowded spaces to wear a mask. Businesses must now refuse service to people who do not wear masks. Any violation of this order is a misdemeanor and violators may be subject to fine. So please, wear a mask. Contrary to what some people may tell you, there are no adverse health effects to wearing a mask. There are medical reasons why one might be exempt from this order, but don't believe the fake medical exemption cards that are being passed around lately. And please, don't believe anyone online who says they're certified by OSHA. OSHA's 10 and 30 minute trainings online do not cover COVID-19 topics. This comes straight from the source. Wearing a mask will not cause you to breathe in too much carbon dioxide, and you cannot get sick from wearing a mask. And yes, in fact, your homemade mask does work. Studies from the University of Chicago and the Argonne National Laboratory show that common fabrics like cotton and silk can reach efficiencies for filtration up to 90%. In addition to that, you can also combine fabrics to achieve efficiencies even higher than that. While things seem to be getting worse in Michigan, we are actually one of the lucky ones. In states like Arizona, the growth rate never seemed to have slowed, and people aren't following the guidelines. Lockdown protests have returned in Arizona, and I encourage everyone to discourage such behavior because it undermines public health. In places like Florida and Arizona, where people are doing this in mass, things are getting worse, and they are being seen as the new epicenter to the American outbreak. Stop disobeying pandemic guidelines. There are several reasons to wear a mask. First of all, in Michigan, under Executive Order 2020-147, it is a misdemeanor to do otherwise when in a public indoor space or outdoor crowded area. In addition to that, a study from the University of Iowa shows with a sample size of 15 states that mask mandates have lowered the growth rate of the virus by 2% after 21 days. Using a sample size of 20 states, 
which only implemented mask mandates for employees, no reduction in the growth rate was seen. The study also concluded between 230,000 and 450,000 cases were averted because of mask mandates, which with even a low estimate for the death rate, 1%, means that between 2,300 and 4,500 lives were potentially saved by these mandates. And a reminder, it's not to protect you, it's to protect your fellow human beings, including your friends, your family, and anyone who is more vulnerable to this virus than the average person, including people with diabetes, hypertension, lower respiratory chronic diseases, and anyone otherwise extremely vulnerable to the virus due to age or being immunocompromised. And people who don't want to wear masks, they only do it because their comfort seems to be more important to them than avoiding spreading a deadly disease to other human beings. Now this is the really important bit because public health officials will agree with me when I say that everyone who's dying of COVID-19 right now is dying unnecessarily and these deaths are extremely avoidable. Every time you ignore pandemic guidelines, you provide an avenue for the disease to reach someone with diabetes, someone with hypertension, someone with asthma, someone with bronchitis, someone with kidney disease, or someone with cancer. Let me rephrase that. You provide an avenue for the disease to kill someone with diabetes, someone with hypertension, someone with asthma, someone with bronchitis, someone with kidney disease, or someone with cancer. Stay inside, maintain six feet from strangers, wear a mask, wash your hands, don't touch your face, be a hero. Protect your fellow human beings. Congratulations! Thank you! Thank you! Listen. How's it going? It's amazing. How is it? I, it's going great. Good. I, I just got so much better. Congratulations. Thank so you. Awesome. Beautiful bride I've ever seen. I should have told him to wear masks and be careful, but I was just so happy for him. I guess old habits die hard. Yeah. Oh my God! It's the spin brigade. <laughs> Oh man, those things have diseases. You gotta watch out with You're them. You're Superman! Yeah. Are you guys wearing masks? You have masks with you? It's that Batman! Are you awesome? Here, hold on, hold on. Watch Batman, this. it's you! Watch, watch this magic trick. Ha! Ha! Look at all! Right now we're doing a YouTube video. You guys are all in it. I hope that's okay. That's fine. We're sure. We're sure. You guys want faces oh. blurred? Oh. No, no, we're no, straight! No. What's your hey, don't want my baby! <laughs> okay, right now we're, we're doing a COVID video. We're promoting social distancing. Yeah. They're working right. a lot. Oh, right. yeah. You guys don't even you guys, you, guys, you guys all live together. together. Yeah, we live in one house. We live in right, house. We live down the street at one house. I'm glad you we, got, we got girls everywhere. I appreciate you guys doing the six feet thing. I hope you guys have fun. I, yeah. I think yeah, the spins are super fun. I think they're great. Why don't you hop on? Hey, you mentioned your costume. Don't you should ride I got my own. I got my own. Appreciate what you guys are doing. Yes. Yeah. Everybody well, wear your mask, man. your PPE. You don't got a mask, I walk I got a mask from Jeff Bezos. I work at Amazon. You don't wear the mask, you're going to hear me and Amber going to shoot. Hey, stop talking. I'm talking. I'm going to give an inspirational speech. Right, go ahead, go ahead. Show us the floor. Kind of All right, yeah. Alrighty. Oh, yeah, here. Wait, I got the mic, bro. Oh, I got, got the, the mic, mic, bro. There you All go. Right, let me tell you guys something. I want you guys to wear a mask. You know why? So you don't get COVID. Yeah. Why? So you don't get sick. Yeah. Why? Because I don't know. So you don't get sick. <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you, no, for real. Hey, for real, but, for real. I'm gonna tell you guys something. But for real, I'm gonna tell you guys. Everybody seemed to be doing so well in March and April, but we are understandably fatigued. Keep distancing yourself from others. Do not gather in bars and restaurants as if nothing was going on. Even outdoor spaces are not immune to an outbreak. Truly, it seems nowhere is safe. Stay inside as much as possible. Stay away from strangers as much as possible. Stay masked, stay safe, and stay amazing.